today I would like to show you a metabolic pathway. But before we get to a metabolic pathway, we first have to start by uh, reviewing a little bit about an enzyme. So remember an enzyme is a protein and proteins have very specific shapes. The shape of the protein is going to determine its function. So when we're looking at and dealing with enzymes, each enzyme is going to have a very specific shape. The enzyme is only going to be able to work on one, maybe two different types of substrates. And remember, a substrate is just anything that an enzyme is working on. So our enzymes have a very specific shape. They generally are only going to work on one or two substrates. They can only do one kind of job. One type of job that an enzyme can do is a catabolic reaction where they are breaking bonds. The other type of reaction that an enzyme can do is an anabolic reaction where the enzyme is making bonds. So inside of a cell, we are going to have hundreds and hundreds of different types of enzymes for all of the different substrates that a cell will work, will use and, and need. And we're going to need hundreds of different enzymes because enzymes only have one function. Now remember, our big theme is that biological systems are lazy. They want to get the most amount of work done with the least amount of effort. So the big question is, why will cells use enzymes when they're great big huge proteins, they have a super specific shape, they only do one type of job, and if it gets too hot or it gets too cold and it changes shape, that enzyme can no longer work. The reason why cells will use enzymes is because, remember, enzymes are going to lower the en activation energy. In other words, we know that our substrates are going to become products. These inputs, uh, these reactants are going to become outputs or products inside of our cell. But if we don't have an enzyme, it's going to take a lot of time and it's going to take a lot of energy. So if we get an enzyme involved, that enzyme is going to make the reaction happen faster and it's going to happen with less energy invested. So it's one of those situations where a cell is going to invest the energy and effort ahead of time to make all of these enzymes and that's actually going to save it energy in the long run. So when we're looking at a metabolic pathway, a metabolic pathway is going to be a specific sequence of enzymes, lots of enzymes, each with their own individual identity, all with their own individual jobs. Each enzyme is going to take a reactant or input, turn it into some kind of output or product, and hand it off to the next enzyme. That enzyme takes in that reactant or input, turns it into a product or output, and hands it off to the next one, hands it off to the next one, etc., until we get to our final product. That final product will be necessary inside of the cell. So what I would like to show for you is a demonstration of uh, a metabolic pathway. And for this demonstration, I'm going to need some mammals. So I found some mammals to be enzymes today and demonstrate a metabolic pathway. So here we have Emma, and Emma is an enzyme, so her name is Emma Ace, and she's going to do an anabolic reaction. She'll be putting things together, so go ahead and hold up your tape. That is her active site where she will be doing all the work of bonding things together. This is Elijah. He's an enzyme. His name is Elijah Ace. He is going to do catabolic reactions. So hold up your active site. Hold up those scissors. That's where all the action of bond breaking is going to happen. Here we have Elena Ace. And Elena Ace is going to do a catabolic reaction. So hold up your hands. Look at those active sites. Hold up the other hand. She is going to be tearing and breaking bonds apart. Here we have Emma. And Emma is an enzyme as well. Her name is going to be Emma Ace. And she's going to be putting things together, doing an anabolic reaction. So go ahead and hold up your clip. That clip is going to help her to bond things together. And this little enzyme, this is a wiggly jiggly enzyme. This is Easton Ace, and he is going to be doing an anabolic reaction. He's going to be adding things together too, so he's got a piece of tape. And then over here we have Justin, and Justin Ace is going to be doing an anabolic reaction as well. So for today, in our metabolic pathway, we have a substrate. We need to turn this substrate into a product, into an output. So as a cell, I'm going to hand this substrate to Emma Ace. She's the first enzyme in my metabolic pathway. 
So when I hand it to her, she's going to do her anabolic reaction. One, two, three. So just like we practiced. She is adding to her substrate. She hands it off to Elijah Ace, who does his catabolic cutting reaction. When he hands it to Elena Ace, she's going to do her catabolic tearing reaction. When she hands it to Emma Ace, she does an anabolic reaction and sticks everything together. And Easton's going to do an anabolic reaction to stick things together. Who hands it off to Justin Ace, who does another anabolic reaction. Now, while this does not seem like anything you or I might personally want, for my cell, this was the product that I needed. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to my metabolic pathway. If you guys hadn't done this, I wouldn't have this. And I really, really, really wanted this. So I hope that the demonstration of a metabolic pathway helps you to understand how each of those enzymes work together. Now, the, a couple of important things about a metabolic pathway. If just one of those enzymes were missing, let's say Eastinase wasn't there, then our metabolic pathway couldn't function. And there are some serious diseases, like Huntington's disease, that are due to exactly that, where we have just one protein, one enzyme in this larger pathway uh, that, that is not there. So we need every single one of those enzymes doing their job, working in that sequential order. When we get into Chapter 6 and we're dealing with photosynthesis, we get into Chapter 7 and we're dealing with aerobic cellular respiration, for both of those chapters, we are going to be talking about metabolic pathways. Now our enzymes get a lot more specific names. Our enzymes get names like photosystem one or ATP synthase. So we need to keep in mind some of those indicators of when we have an enzyme, that ASE ending. We need to remember that our enzymes are lowering the energy of activation. They're making a reaction happen faster and with less invested energy. The shape of that enzyme is important and that all of those enzymes working in that sequential order are what will eventually give us that necessary product. So don't lose track of this when we get into those complicated concepts of photosynthesis and aerobic cellular respiration.